Pisces, what's going on? It's me, your girl D, with 8th House Energy, here to bring you your weekly reading. This is going to be from Sunday, December 15th through Saturday, December 21st. I do want to um, thank you all for your love and support throughout the year. I started my channel in May, and I'm doing really well. I have, oh my gosh, um, almost 8,000 subscribers. And um, my goal was to get to 10, but I never thought that I would get this far so quickly. So I do want to thank all of you for your love and support. You guys have been so amazing to me. And um, hopefully you guys will continue to come to the channel um, and check out the videos. Um, and please feel free to click like and subscribe. And also share the videos if um, they resonate. Okay? So um, again, for those who've um, you know, been with the channel, thank you so much. Thank you. All right? I hope you guys enjoy your uh, holiday season. And um, we're going to see what we got for you. So... Uh, it doesn't matter where Leo is in your chart. This is a general read. So um, it may resonate with some Leos more than others. All right. So just take what resonates. Leave the rest. If you want something that's really catered towards you and your energy, my information is in the box below. Feel free to reach out. Okay. So it um, doesn't matter where Pisces is in your chart. Let's see what we got for you, Pisces. Oh, I'm not going to take that one, but I'm going to take this one that popped out. So it popped out like this. So this is the uh, Empress. Actually, the Emperor. The Emperor in reverse. Okay? Now, with the Emperor in reverse, this energy is energy of someone who maybe is not in control. Okay? This could be someone who's not in control of their finances. Somebody who's not in control of their business. A situation okay um, someone who's not in control of their living situation there's something in their life that they don't have control over they either are not in control of their actions uh, their finances anything okay but something's not there something's out of control all right something's out of someone's grasp and they need to reel it back in um, this could also represent someone who is um, very controlling over controlling too controlling not over controlling that's not a word but someone who's too controlling or very controlling we don't want to use very I guess so someone who's extremely controlling you know what I'm saying all right they have to be in control of everything you know um, I get that energy as well but let's see what the um, challenge is in this situation so that's the that is the situation at hand there's a lack of control here or there's too much control all right this could be narcissistic energy as far as being very controlling Okay, physically controlling, controlling people's money, um, someone, you know, who's doing some illegal things. All right, but the situation at hand or the challenge is, what card is this? This is temperance in reverse. Okay, there is no balance in the situation. We already know that. <laughs> things are out of control. There's no balance. All right, this is um, Sagittarius energy here, the temperance. These are major arcanas. So this is a major situation going on. All right, this is causing major issues in your life. This is why this is coming out in this reading this way. Okay, so let's see what else we got here for you. All right, this was turned over, so we're not taking those. All right, let's see what else we got for you, Pisces. What does the universe want you to keep in mind? What does the universe want you to look at? This is the King of Wands. All right. So the universe wants you to step into your power, take control of the situation. OK, that's what the universe wants you to do. Now, let's see where your head is at, because we're going to clarify all these cards and find out why they're here. The universe, well, where your head is at is you're the king of cups. OK, perhaps you're in love and someone is taking advantage of you. OK, you're in love with this person. Um, this is someone who, um, you see yourself being with, you know, someone you could see yourself being married to. All right. And so maybe you lost control of your emotions and your feelings with this person, but the universe is like, ah, 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 ah. get yourself together. Okay. Cause maybe this person is taking advantage of you with the emperor in reverse here. All right. Now the outcome The Hierophant in reverse. 
Okay. So the outcome here is that there is this person is not interested in being in a serious relationship. Okay, even though you're in love now, this could be you, Pisces, or the person you're dealing with. But a serious traditional relationship um, is not the outcome here. Now, the overall energy for this reading is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is someone saying, okay, well, if that's this is what you need to do. You need to cut it short. Well, you don't need to, but you need to do what's best for you. But Queen of Swords is showing up here saying that um, this is something you should cut short. Yeah, definitely. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clarify these cards and see what's going on here. So looks like you're in love with somebody who is very controlling. They could very well be um, narcissistic in nature, taking advantage of you. Um, are some of you dealing with a Leo? Please check out the Leo reading, okay? Please check out the Leo reading if you're dealing with a Leo. Or if you have Leo in your chart and, and this is resonating with you. Let's clarify this Emperor in reverse. Why is the Emperor in reverse here for my Pisces? We have the Two of Wands. We have the Magician. We have the High Priestess in reverse. The Eight of Wands. The Page of Wands. And the um, Six of Wands. So we got a lot of Wand energy here. All right. Eight and Six is 14. And then we got 15. So um, 15 with the, um, whatchamacallit, with the um, Arcana is the devil. Devil energy. Damn. Okay. So <laughs> you're seeing that this is, <laughs> you're seeing it what it is. This is person is, is not playing. Okay. This is why we got the temperance here. Some of y'all dealing with this Leo. I'm telling you, watch the Leo reading. So we got the two of wands here and we got the magician. So somebody's trying to decide what they want to do. Somebody's trying to manifest whatever options it is that they want. Okay, with the magician here. Now, we got the high priestess in reverse and we got the eight of wands. All right, so with the high priestess in reverse, you're getting some messages here. You're getting downloads about what's going on. And then you got the page of wands and the six of wands. All right, so you want you want this person. So you saw this person and you're like, you know what? I want them. All right. I want this person. This person is 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 everything for me. What do I got to do to have this person? I will do whatever I need to do to get this person. Like this is where your head is at about this person. Again, this emperor in in emperor in reverse energy. Maybe you didn't realize that until after you got with the person, but in the beginning it was like, yeah, I, I, I want this person. I'll do whatever it is to get this person. Yeah, so you're trying to figure out what to do to get them. All right, this is you in your head. You revealing your feelings to them, communicating with them. Yeah, baby, you know, I just want to let you know I've been thinking about you. Um, I want to see you. When can I come see you? When can we get together? All right, and you're in your head like, yeah, um, this is the one. You know, I want to start something with you. You're the one for me, okay? That's where your head was at. That's either you, Pisces, or, you know, this is the person who's looking at you and how they're looking at you. Now, let's clarify this temperance in reverse because that is clearly something is not right here, okay? Now, this emperor energy could have come to you like this, okay? On some, I, I want to be with you. You're the one for me. And they could have set their target on you, okay? Now, let's clarify this emperor. So, take the energy how it resonates. Okay. Temperance in reverse. Why is temperance in reverse here? We have death card in reverse, seven of pentacles in reverse, two of swords, the pentacle, a uh, king of pentacles, five of cups, and the three of wands. So with the death card in reverse and the seven of pentacles here, this is somebody who um Want something for nothing. <laughs> this is somebody who wants something for nothing. They, they're coming incorrect with the Tempest card in reverse. And with the Death card in reverse, this to me is somebody who... Hmm, with this Death card in reverse energy and then the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, this is somebody who just ain't no good altogether. And just wants something for nothing. The death card is about transformation. This is somebody who's just stuck in their ways. Like this person to me, with the death card in reverse, that could also represent someone who's stuck. 
okay and this person is stuck in their ways like this is this is this is how they feel about the situation they are fixed on this situation on um, getting something for nothing from you all right they're not putting in any work they're not going to put any effort in any investment and that's how they feel about it and that's that so the situation this is why the situation is going to be or is or was unbalanced with the temperance in reverse all right now with the two of swords and the ten of pentacles somebody is making a decision about something they know they need to make a decision about something but they're hesitant about it okay maybe because they're planning okay the king of wands or the king of pentacles represents somebody who's trying to make a put a plan together trying to strategize trying to figure out what they need to do for some of you uh you're a single parent okay um and you're considering your children in this equation in this situation because for some of you you're in love all right, so you're considering, you know, what you want to do. So you know you want to make a decision, but you, for some reason you're just not making it yet. All right, and so you, you probably realize that this person, for some of you, this person was married. Okay, so I want to put that out there as well. Now, this is why, I, again, you guys got to watch that Leo reading if you're resonating with this. And then we have the Five of Cups and we have the Three of uh, Wands. So this is, Wow. So this is you recognizing that this is a situation that you can't have this person because they're married. Okay, for some of you. All right, so you're looking at your other options here with the three of wands. So this is why the situation is unbalanced. So that's why we have the temperance in reverse. For some of you, this person is married. All right, now let's take a look at this king of wands because this, this is what the universe wants you to keep in mind. The universe wants you to step into your power. And not be manipulated, not continue to be manipulated by this person. We got the emperor in reverse and the magician. Okay? This person went out purposely to put the uh, move on you. To take advantage of you. This is what their goal was. Let's take a look at this king of wands. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the star in reverse. We have the two of cups. The knight of wands. The six of swords in reverse. Damn it all and the devil. Didn't I tell you that the wands added up to the number 13? The eight of wands plus the six of wands, that's 14, right? Plus we got the one uh, page of wands, that's 15. And that's devil energy. And then we also have two more wands, which is 17. And that's the star energy, okay? And um, I'll be damned if we don't got the star card right here in reverse, all right? So this is the universe with the... Okay, let me do this. So this is what the universe wants you to look at and wants you to focus on in this whole scenario. The King of Wands. We have that clarified with the Ace of Pentacles and the Star card in reverse. So the universe is saying, look, you need to step into your power. You need to take control of this situation. You, you know, take control of your emotions. All right, get control of your emotions because you're depressed. This person has got you depressed because you want so badly to be in a relationship with them or to be married to this person. All right. And, and you're allowing this person to just walk all over you with the two of cups here in the uh, Knight of wands. There's not going to be anything serious. This person is just in and out. They don't want a relationship. And we know that because we got the outcome here, the Hierophant reverse. They don't want a traditional relationship. They may love you. They may enjoy spending time with you, but they're not interested in a serious relationship. And they got you stuck. With the six of swords in reverse in this devil energy. They got you stuck. Okay? And it, to me, it's got a lot to do with the sex. Okay? With the temperance in reverse. That's a very strong sexual energy card. And we got a lot of, of wands here. So there's a lot of passion. Okay? And we got the death card here. Alright? So somebody was literally turned out. Okay? As they call it, turned out. Like somebody got your nose open off the sex. Okay? So yeah, this is what's going on. All right. Again, I'm going to um, recommend you watch the Leo reading if some of you are dealing with the Leo or if the person you don't you may not even know if the person has Leo in their chart. But if you're resonating with this reading, please watch the Leo reading for this week. Same same time frame. OK, now let's clarify this King of Cups energy, because this is where your head is at right now. Now, uh, this could resonate. This is a general reading. So I could be talking to you, Pisces, or I could be talking to the person who's dealing with Pisces. Take the energy as it resonates. Now, this is where your head is at. You love this person. You want to settle down with this person. This is the person you want to be with. 
Oh hell. Damn it. We got the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Four of Swords. We have the Empress. We have the Tower. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the King of Swords. Okay. With the Queen of Pentacles here and the Four of the Four of Swords, this is somebody who's got somebody married at home already. Married, they may have kids. Okay, they may have kids. All right, remember we're talking about an emperor energy here. So we got the queen of pentacles. Okay, so that's, that's um, we'll say um, someone who's very wealthy who married. Um, we'll say like uh, somebody who owns like 10 franchises married some to someone who owns one or two. Okay, but she's very successful. He or she is very successful in their own right. They run the businesses together. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be an impress, but we do have the empress here. So there's more than one woman or more than one man in this situation because clarifying further is the empress. Okay, so there is someone at home and you know this because this is the tower car here saying, oh shit, this person's married. All right, this person's married. So you may be this person here. The queen of pentacles here and you're thinking okay you know um, I, I love this person i want to make a home with this person i'm comfortable with this person you know but this person in reality has is already married all right and um that's why we have this tower card here because you find that out some of you already knew but some of you are just finding this out all right now we have the Eight of Swords here and the um, Ace of the uh, Ace of Swords, the King of Swords. So some of you were disillusioned. This person wasn't telling you the truth, or for some of you, the person did tell you the truth. They kept it one hundred with you, but you, you know, I guess maybe the way they were acting with you, the way they were treating you, the way you felt with this King of Cups energy, you were in love with this person. They had you enthralled, okay, with the sex. So it didn't, you didn't even care for some of you who already knew. Now the outcome is the Hierophant in reverse, okay? And we know the Hierophant in reverse represents either um, divorce or a non-traditional relationship, meaning it's not going to be monogamous, okay? Or meaning that it could be homosexual, um, but it's something that's not what people consider traditional, okay? So let's clarify the Hierophant in reverse. And see what it is that we got here. <clears throat> we have the Hierophant. Clarifying the Hierophant in reverse. We have the two, I'm sorry, the, the three of cups. We have the sun card in reverse. The chariot in reverse. The knight of swords. And the six of, I'm sorry, the seven of wands. So we are clarifying the Hierophant in reverse. And we have that clarified with the Hierophant. And the three of cups. So... This is telling me that one minute this person is with their partner, the next minute, they, this person cheats on their partner all the time. They're always out partying, hanging out. Um, this person is more in the bars and more out on the scene than they are at home with their wife or with their husband. Okay? This is, this is what it is with this person. Okay? So they're already locked down. Then we got the sun card in reverse here and we have the chariot in reverse. So this is you realizing... That this person has been playing with you. With the sun card in reverse, they've been, you know, leading you on, making you think that eventually you guys would have the sun card. Okay? So it's like delayed. When the sun card is in reverse, it's delayed gratification. Like you're going to get this gratification, but there's just some more things you have to cover before you get to that. So this person has been playing with you. Making you feel as if there's a future with them. Um, but in reality, they're not moving forward with you. They're making things very difficult to move forward. All right. So you're not even going to get to that point. And then we have the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Okay. Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands. So this is someone who um, lies, doesn't tell the whole truth, tells you what they want to tell you. All right, and then when you question them, they're very defensive, very argumentative. This is also someone who is seeing more than one person, 
has a couple of suitors. This could be someone who's very attractive. Again, we have the queen of the king of wands here, and that's someone who's very attractive. Okay, can be very, very, very um, charismatic. Um, you know, really, really a turn on for a lot of people. A lot of people see the king of wands as is one of the sexiest of the kings. Okay, when it comes to his looks and his charisma and his energy and his fire. All right. So, yeah, this is someone who <clears throat> has been lying, playing games, saying what they want to say, not telling the whole truth, um, lying about who they're seeing or, you know, getting very defensive when you ask them questions and they don't give you the whole facts. And then here you are with the Queen of Swords finally saying, you know what, chop, chop, chop. I'm going to ask you one more time. Let me know what's going on, because if it's not what I want, then I'm going to move on. OK, and we know that because. We have the full card in reverse. So this is you like, okay, I jumped into this situation a little too soon. Um, I didn't question everything, you know. Um, but before I go back, you know, and jump in this again or do this with anyone else, you know, I need to find out what's going on. So this is you being careful, okay. For some of you, this person would be trying to come back to you if you've already left them, okay. You might have cut them off and then they're trying to come back to get you to hop right back in, okay. Some of them could be coming... Um, you know, with the coming very slowly, they're like, okay, I'm coming. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it right with the Knight of Pentacles energy, bullshit and stagnating again. Okay. Wanting you to jump in, but then they want to take their time. But you know what? You got tired of this with the five of swords in reverse. You got tired of all the arguing, the back and forth, the stress, the drama. And so with the five of, uh, pentacles in reverse, you would leave and then you would come back. Because I'm showing that you guys have been through this with this person. Some of you have been dealing with this for a couple years. Again, please look at the Leo reading. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. All right. But it looks like with the Ten of of uh, ten of Wands here, this became too much of a burden for you. All right. Too much of a burden. It was too much of an aggravation, too much of a hassle. And it just got too much. And you realize with the Queen of Cups in reverse that this person was just taking advantage of your feelings. Um, emotionally manipulating you, not treating you the way you wanted to be treated, not treating you the way you deserve, okay? No matter how much work you put into the relationship with the Eight of uh, Pentacles, um, this person, no no matter what you did, um, will still lie to you with the Knight of Swords, play games with you, not be honest with you, not let you know what's going on, all right? And with the Eight of, uh, what was this, the Eight of Wands here, okay, that's showing up again. This is you seeing that, but for whatever reason, not putting a stop to it. Not saying, hey, this is where the buck stops or anything. You let this go on for a while, some of you. You left this person for some of you and went back to them, okay? Because we got the four of pentacles here where you realized at one point that this person was playing with you and you would guard yourself. And so that meant you would leave the situation, okay? But then you come back. All right. So, yeah, this is you leaving with the three of pentacles, knowing that this person is seeing other people. All right. And you would leave. All right. And then you would get to the point where, you know, you got stressed out about it. You realize this person was lying to you, betraying you with the ten of swords. And then we have the nine of swords here where, um, you know, you would be stressed out about this, worrying, at, worrying yourself to death, you know, always on your mind, really stressful. All right. And then you got to the point where you had enough. And you went through a transformation with the death card. You had enough of this. OK, you realize that this situation was not going anywhere. OK, remember this here. And you realize that there was no balance. So Pisces, let me get you some advice and see what spirit has to say. Let me get you a spirit animal oracle. So what do we got for my, my Pisces? What do we got for my Pisces? Now, this is a message for a specific group. This is not going to resonate with everybody. I do understand that. But for those who it does resonate, I can't stress enough. Watch the Leo video. Matter of fact, yeah, watch the Leo video. All right, so we have Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around you. Love is all around. 
number 41. So you may want to look up angel number 41. And um, four and one make five. Five is about conflict. We know that that's what the hell's going on here. That's for sure. So let's see what this card has to say. What advice does spirit have for you? All right, so Nightingale Spirit. It says, love is all around. In the darkness of night, Nightingale Spirit sings her song of love and hope, a harbinger of dawn, to remind you that the sun will rise again soon. You are so loved, and the illumination song of the Nightingale Spirit calls you to a new level of self-awareness and connection with the light. Yes, there is a shadow and darkness, but love and prosperity exist everywhere, even in the seeming emptiness of space, darkness, and a starlit night, starless night. Hearken to the message, letting the music of the nightingale song remind you that love is all around. Feel it and trust in tomorrow's light, renewing your ability to recognize that the spaces that appear empty are filled with love and abundance. Illumination will happen soon. So this is Spirit's message telling you that even though things might be dark right now, you know, you may be feeling depressed with the star card here in reverse. And um, this was someone that you really loved. We have the King of Cups here, You, someone you wanted to be with. Um, and you realizing that this person, for some of you, is married and or is just manipulating you and playing games with you. But the long story short is you, this is not going to be a serious relationship. And the universe is saying, you know, even though there's darkness and despair right now, just to hold on. You know, find a favorite song that'll help you get through it. Don't listen to a love song. Listen to anything else but love, okay? Music has a way as far as, especially with water signs, we connect with music, you know? So find you some music and just zone out to some music that will help you to, you know, um, tap into your inner energy and to come into your power, okay? Don't listen to love music. You do not want to listen to that. Find something else that will speak to your spirit, okay? Now, the protection message, it says, The darker the skies, the more it seems the dawn will never appear. But Nightingale Spirit is here to remind you that the sun will shine again. You will soon feel the love and notice the abundance that surrounds you. Sing now. Put on some music or simply sing in an empty space. For finding the light within and giving it voice will rise uh, to hope will give rise to hope and help you begin to hear the call of another who, like you, was beginning to fear the light would never come. Bring the light into darkness with love from within. Give it voice and know that daybreak will be here soon. So this is exactly what I was just saying. Find um, some music that you can tap into that will help you to get you to channel out and to zone out and meditate on that. OK, play it at least, you know, maybe five, if you can, five minutes a day, you know, on your way to work, um, on your way home, you know, just turn on that music and zone out. Don't turn on the radio or anything else. Don't get in the car from work or on the way to work and get on the phone. Use that time to say, OK, you know what, I'm, I got to get through this. You know, it's dark. But, you know, I realize this is a situation I need to get out of. I need to heal. I know what I needed to learn. I know the lessons I was supposed to learn. I know what I was supposed to do and what I didn't do. Now I'm ready to move on. Use that time to just zone out and let that music be your guide to help you to rejuvenate your spirit. All right, Pisces? Um, I hope this resonated with you. And I hope you were able to get something positive out of this reading. Um, if so, please click the like button. And if you want to leave a comment, I, I read all the comments. I do appreciate the time and effort you guys take out of your schedule to, um, you know, let me know that um, this is something that resonated with you. It, it, it reminds me of why I do this, okay, which is to make sure that I, I'm able to resonate and be able to um, spread message of hope and inspiration to those who might be going through some dark times. All right. Um, Pisces, I hope that you um, enjoy your holiday season. And again, I want to thank you for your love and support throughout this 2019 year. And, um, you know, I got your back. I'm always here for you. If you need a personal reading, my information is in the box below. I love you, Pisces. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week.